fight for the love of equality, the love of fellow human beings. We fight for everybody. Wherever everybody is oppressed, we fight for the love of those people. These people fight for hatred. They fight for the face of hatred. And excuse me, officers, I don't know why you're probably protecting them. I only just got here that I heard our, our crew was caught down here. Why would you protect a bunch of neo-Nazis? Why would you bother doing that? I saw on TV yesterday, uh, one of the neo-Nazis thrown me into the ground and kicked him in front of the police officer, nothing was done. Now I hope that's not the case today. If you're going to have law and order, yes, and hello there, you tell me, nice to see you. Um, I'll do a little bit of Tom Jones later. Uh, if you're going to have law and order, you want to make sure everybody's protected. We are here to demonstrate against racism. They are here to demonstrate against anybody that's white. That they are white supremacists. They only want their own kind in this country. They are an extension of the white Australia policy. Now, having lived in this country, I'm an indigenous person in this country, having been here for uh, 63 years, I've never felt threatened by a migrant person in my life. Never felt threatened. Never felt threatened by any migrant group or any migrant gang. That includes uh, the Landis Islamophobia that's going around, Islamophobia that's going around, I don't know any Islamic people who are hunting around my house trying to harass me. But I tell you what, when I've worn this shirt on a train on Australia Day, I've had full heads with the Australian flag, blind drunk out of their head, trying to pick fights with me at my age. Shame on them. That's what sort of cowards we're dealing with here. We're dealing with people who are basically cowards. I saw other footage in Melbourne when they attacked women with burgers on and ripped the burgers off their head. Shame. That's the sort of cowards you're dealing with, and that's the sort of coward that the police are protecting. They should, you know, there should be a law to lock the whole lot of them up. Now, I've never, ever been afraid of any, any other group coming into this country, except the original boat people. The first boat people were the ones that did the damage. The ones coming down are escaping from persecution or death. And I'll tell you what, if the shields on the other form of these people, if they were in this country getting persecuted, they'd soon run to another country. They soon do the same thing. They don't look at that. They only look at their own selfish little world. The group I fear the most is the Liberal National Party. As an Aboriginal person, they're trying to force us off our land. They're trying to... Uh, uh, Abbott's policies are nothing but genocide. Now, one thing, this group who's protesting against Islamic people against migration, against faith people, against whatever they want. Again, you're based on hatred. As an Aboriginal person, I'll tell you this loud and clear. This is Aboriginal land. Always was, always will be Aboriginal land. Let's go. Always, always was, always will be Aboriginal land. Always was, always will be Aboriginal land. Always was, always will be now you people have no right, you have no right to say who comes and goes from this country. No right whatsoever. As an indigenous person, I see it in my heart to give refuge to people from another country. I don't see why you people have any right to open your mouth. You've got nothing. That's still and said before. You want to check your own history. You can't claim this country. It's not yours. We never ceded this country. We never ceded it. Check your doctrine of war. If you haven't ceded the country, you still have sovereign rights in this country. And this is a battle that will go on and on and on. So you have no sovereign rights in this country. We have. Check the law. The only thing you should reclaim is your own history. The history that you were born from is one of bloody brutality, of the murder of women, the rights of women, and the butchering of children to get the land, to claim the land that their forefathers made their homesteads on. Now, if you think that's something to be proud of, you should take a good, hard look at yourself. Because I'll tell you something, 
there is more wrong with what your ideology than what the normal person in this country, the people around here are thinking of. We want to look at this half country in harmony. It's people like you who spread racial hatred. I have no hatred against any other race. A lot of non-Aboriginal people come to our, our uh, rally and support us. It's only the lunatic fringe element like yourself that have built on hate and hate only that caused this rotten in this country and you're feeding off Tony Abbott. You're feeding off his lies and you're stupid enough to swallow them. Well, if you want to be stupid, stay stupid.